Welcome back to BBC World News America. I'm Katty Ken. Still to come on this program. Forget about potatoes in the fields of Idaho. An Iranian immigrant is mixing up the crops with some delicious results. Welcome back. When you think of Iranian scientists, how often do you think of Idaho? Well, that's exactly where you'll find one Ishmali Falahi. After growing up on a farm in his native country, Falahi is now bringing exotic plants into very new markets. As part of our American Experience series, Kaveh Basmenji of the BBC Persian Service has the story for us. the region. They call him the fruit doctor. Meet Esmail Falai, known as Essie. He's an Iranian scientist now based at the University of Idaho. For 22 years, he's been slowly changing the way people here think. By introducing exotic fruits such as persimmons and pistachios, he's become the ambassador of a new economy. I believe that we have addressed and solved a number of issues that our growers in the state of Idaho, Washington, Utah, and the Intermountain West, they are facing. And, uh, uh, and I'm fortunate that, uh, that uh, they are so kind to us. Essie grew up in a farming family in Talleran, an agricultural area west of Tehran's capital. After getting his master's degree in the late 1970s, he moved to the United States to continue his studies. He was struck by the similarities in climate and growing conditions between Idaho and Iran and saw the potential for a niche market in specialty fruits. At first, locals were a bit wary about a Persian in Parma. But Essie proved that thousands of years of farming history from Iran could improve their fortunes. He is so world-renowned that we are so happy and fortunate to have him here, you know, because Everybody in the world calls. I mean, you just can't believe how many calls I get, you know, when he's too busy. It takes a long time to come up with a paper. Essie's methods have had such an impact on the fruit industry that the governor of Idaho has named a day after him. At the annual fruit festival, farmers and their families swarm Essie's tables. Five minutes ago, this basket was full of Taliban walnuts that originally come from Iran, from a mountainous region uh, to the north of Tehran. The kids just plundered it. The wine from a special mixture of local grapes is a special testimony to Essie's roots. It's called Chayom blend, after the 10th century Persian poet. And another variant has proved even more successful. <laughs> Our seedless. Thank you for uh, your interest today, and thank you again. Many years ago, I started table grape as first alternative crop, and people were laughing. Today, Idaho is reaching a point that table grape is one of the fastest growing industry in, the, in Idaho, and one of the fastest one in the Pacific Northwest. The scale is still nothing like the dairy industry, but diversity in crops is helping smaller farmers in this part of the country make a living. And someday, the quince might prove as popular as Idaho's famous potatoes. Kaveh Basmenji, BBC News.